it's Roma and welcome to At Home with Roma. And today I wanna to talk to you about a new kitchen appliance that I bought yesterday. I'm so excited because I wanted to have one for forever and I just never pulled the trigger on getting one until I needed one. So I bought this food saver yesterday at Target. It was $90 and I've always been on the fence about buying one uh, because you know they're expensive and do I really need one? Uh, this is a food saver and what it does is it vacuum seals your chicken, your fish, anything fresh that you bought, vegetables from your garden, fruit, uh, vegetables, um, anything really that you want to seal and store in your freezer for an extended period of time. So for example, if you're going to store fish that you buy or you catch, uh, it usually holds up about six months in a freezer, but if you use the food saver, it can last up to two years, two years in your freezer, which is, for me, someone who cooks a lot, amazing. So this is the box that it came in yesterday. I said I got it from Target. This is the actual unit. It kind of looks like a, a label maker or a laminator. Uh, it's, it measures about a foot long, and it's a, a nice little countertop size, although I'm gonna keep it in a cabinet. And then from the back to the front, it's from here to here is about four inches, and from here to here, it's about five, five and a quarter inches. So that just gives you an idea of the size. And why did I need to buy this? Well, I went on a fishing trip yesterday with my son and his girlfriend. We went out to uh, the open waters past San Clemente, closer to San Diego, and we caught 44 pounds of fish. So it was like, what am I gonna do with all this fish? How am I gonna store it? That was the first thing my husband said when I texted him a picture of me catching a beautiful skipjack. And here is one of the pieces that I'm gonna show you. This is just one of the pieces. It was about a 10 pound skipjack. And I'm going to show you how to use the food saver to store this puppy for up to two years. So let me show you how. Okay, so one of the things that I wanted to mention about what came in this box was uh, this particular kit comes with five of these quart bags, which are great if you want to do like, uh, you know, you've picked your vegetables from your garden or blueberries or you find raspberries on sale and you want to put them in these bags. Um, these bags are great. They're also reusable. so let's say six months down the line you take your blueberries out you could wash this bag out dry it and use it again because then you would just cut the seal off the top and then um, maybe put a less amount in but you could reseal this bag again so they are reusable bags so this box came with five of these bags and i was in a quandary of which one to buy because i needed to know what came in it so five of five quart bags and then it came with one roll which I used last night when I was um, sending off Cole's girlfriend with her supply of fish. Um, so this is a roll that it comes with. It looks like this. And you can cut the piece to the size of fish you have. So these quart bags are great, but they're not gonna be useful for various sizes of fish because you don't wanna you know, bend and shove your fish in the bag. So this is what I used last night. I'm gonna do it again today. I still have all of our fish that we need to put away. Um, so one roll and five bags come in this $90 kit at Target, okay? So I have already gone through one of these rolls. So then I bought this package at Target. This was $18 and it comes with two rolls. And you want, you gotta make sure when you buy rolls for this particular unit that it's the eight inches roll, okay? Because it's a smaller, more compact uh, space saver countertop version. So two rolls of these for $18. I, I probably could have gotten them cheaper on Amazon, but um, I went with Target because they were in my hand and I didn't know what I'd need. So I wanted to talk about that. Uh, and then I just wanted to show you the unit. And if you can see it here, uh, there's a vacuum and a seal uh, and then there's an open and an operate. So when you open it up, you're going to put, I'll just use one of these quart bags for an example. You're going to put the end of the bag in this green insert and you're just going to shut it 
I, have, I don't have it plugged in yet. Um, and then you're just going to hit the seal button because all you're wanting to do is uh, seal this bag when we do a long sheet, one of these sheets. You just want to seal one of the ends before you put your food in it. So uh, the seal button, it just blinks green and then there's a flat green line when it's done. And then once you have your piece of fish inside of the bag, you're going to hit vacuum. It automatically sucks the air out of the bag and then it automatically seals it. Once the vacuum is done, it seals it. And then it needs to be, you put it down into the operate position. So let's plug it in and give it a whirl so you can see how it works. Okay, so let's talk about when, when you're especially going to freeze fish because you can freeze fish and have it come out mushy or you can freeze fish and have it come out fresh as the day you caught it. So when the fish on deck is caught, it's then gutted, the head's removed, the skin's taken off, and the spine's removed, and then you get a nice piece of filet. So once you have your filet, it's dipped in like a salt water, you know, on the boat, uh, clean water on the boat, and then it's put into a plastic bag, such as a plastic bag like this. This is one bag of about 10 bags of mahi that I have. So you can see these are all fillets. They've already been washed on the boat. So what you don't want to do before you vacuum seal it is you don't want to wash it off again under the sink. You want to literally just get a roll of paper towels and you want to take the piece of fish out of the bag, put it on paper towels, and then take another paper towel and just keep putting the towels on it to take all the moisture out of it. That's it, do not rinse it under the sink. Otherwise, when you open up that air seal bag, it'll have that water on it and it'll be mushy and you'll be really unhappy. So, what I've done with this piece of fish is I have patted it dry. It is very dry, uh, so there's no moisture on it at all. And now I'm going to cut the, the uh, roll of uh, plastic and it's BPA free, by the way. Um, I'm gonna place this on it to measure it. Okay, so now we have our piece of fish that's prepared. It's patted dry with the paper towels. It's ready to go in here. So you're gonna need a pair of scissors and you're gonna need a Sharpie so that you can write in, down here the date and what you're actually putting into the freezer so that when you pull it out, it's not a surprise. So with these bags, you need to leave about three inches on each end so that it goes into the sealer. Like you can put it in the sealer right here, but you can't have the food that comes right up to the top of the bag because then this is gonna shut. So you need about three inches clear space on either side of whatever you're putting in the bag. So I have my piece of fish that's ready to go. So I have it on a paper towel because all I wanna do is measure. So I can eyeball that that's about three inches on this end, and then on this end, it's about three inches. So I'm just gonna cut the bag. Now I'm gonna take the piece of fish off. I'm gonna turn it over, and I'm going to write, so I caught this on 9.30. And I'm going to write skipjack. Okay, so skipjack is a tuna. Like I said, it's a tuna that you usually find in a can. Okay, so the bag is now ready to go. So, what I'm going and remember to write what it is before you get the food item in because once you get the food item in and you the vacuum sucks all the air out of the bag, it's much harder to write on the bag. I discovered that last night after the third time. So, all right, so here we have, we're gonna open this up and we're going to seal one end of the bag so that we create a bag. You know, we can stick the fish in. All right, so you just take the end of it and just take it in. You don't have to push it too hard just till it meets the end. Hold it like that and shut it. Okay, now you click it into operate mode and you'll see that the, the seal light and the vacuum light comes on. Well, there's nothing in the bag, so we don't want to do vacuum right now. We just want to hit seal. And you'll see that now it's flashing green. And once it stops flashing and it's a solid green, we know that there's a seal on the bag, one end of the bag. 
Okay, there it is, it's a solid color. So we slide this to open, we pull it out. Here is, you can see that it's sealed. It's got a nice little seal mark across there. Okay, now we can stick the piece of fish. We're going to take the fish and I left skin on one side of it so that I can actually see like it, what if I didn't label the bag? I can at least identify my fish because I have three different types of fish that I'm bagging uh, by its skin. So Skipjack has this definite gray and black skin. Mahi is more of a green and yellow skin. So now I just slip the piece of fish in the bag. Okay, and it can go the whole way down to the end where I made that line. Okay, and let me wipe my hands here because they're fishy. And now, as you can see, the skip, the piece of fish is in the bag. And now I'm gonna put it in the middle of the bag. I could have put more pieces in there, but I'm probably just gonna use this one piece of fish when I pull it out. So now we're back in the open position. Now we're gonna stick the bag in here and we're gonna shut it. We're gonna put it into operate mode. And now we're just gonna hit the vacuum button once. It's gonna vacuum all the air out and then it will automatically seal it without you having to hit that button. See it sucking it out? So it stopped, the vacuum's done, and now it automatically, see the seal light starts flashing? When I first started doing this, I was hitting the seal button like, come on, come on, seal and I realized that was an unnecessary step. Okay, so now the seal light is solid. Stick it in the up position, and look at that. You now have a piece of fish that's completely sealed on both ends. It's ready to go in the freezer. Okay, so check it out. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen? I'm a total kitchen geek, so this kind of stuff really excites me. <laughs> but when I did it the first time, I was like, honey, look, look. So it looks really professional. It's like you've gone to, you know, uh, Whole Foods and you bought this piece of fish. But uh, anyway, so that's how you use the sealer. And I just wanted to say that I really love the size of this. They had another one at uh, Target for like $189 and then they had a $160 one and I'm telling you, it looked like a printer. And I thought, I don't really want that on my kitchen counter. So I really like the compactness of this. You could do chicken, fish, vegetables, fruit, whatever. But I really think that this size for $90 is a great deal. And this is a pretty long piece of fish. And so width-wise, I mean, I think the eight inches is sufficient. So anyway, I gotta get back to uh, doing about another 40 pounds of fish, but I wanted to share with you my new kitchen gadget, and I'm super excited to have it. So I am a huge fan of Food Saver now. So thanks for joining. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell for future video notifications.